Hello, so this is our web app. It's called My MicroChef. So the idea was to implement a fully fledged smart meal recommendation and delivery system based on users' dietary preferences. Users will be able to set up meals from a wide variety of dishes for the next week or say month based on his desired BMI. So to effectively implement the idea, we are suggesting a meals that had been proved beneficial to other users in the past that have similar characteristics and preferences as the new user. So let's see how it works. So we'll choose from three options that we have. So I'll just go ahead and click on the weekly plan. So we'll start by adding a new user. sign up so it sends me a verification code like an email verification code and let's just see what is it so so when I sign in as a new user I get an email notification that I've been registered to my microchef and it tells me to fill out the profile. So let's go ahead and fill the profile first. Now you can see that the system suggests me some calorie intake. The suggestion is 2167 kilocalories per day. So when I enter my weight and height, the system automatically calculates my BMI and suggests me to gain 0.5 kgs per week, you need 2667 kilocalories per day, and to gain 1 kg per week, you need 3167 kilocalories per day. So this is all done dy dynamically. So when I change my weight to let's say um, 65 so it tells my BMI is now 21.7 and let's go ahead with the suggested BMI so so if you want to provide some dietary restrictions like you only want to eat vegan food or if you are if you are lacto vegetarian you don't eat milk products so you can just go ahead and uh, click on it so i'll choose vegan next you can provide any food allergies if you have so we won't suggest any meals that have those particular ingredients so let's say i have peanuts allergy and let's go ahead and update so this brings me to my preferences page. So as you can see, we have some pre-populated meal recommendations from the system. So these recommendations were calculated personally for uh, me as a user who have those particular weight and height and calorie. So these recommended meals are actually the meals that were highly rated by past users that have similar characteristics and preferences as me. So now you can go ahead and change or update any meal you want from the 20,000 meals that we have in our system. So I'll choose uh, pasta for my lunch on Wednesday. So if you want any other recommendations other than this, you can always click on get new recommendations. So this will hit the SageMaker endpoint again and will fetch you some more uh, high rated meals all right so we'll just update one of them and slow it. so now my preferences have been saved i can now go ahead 
and change my delivery time for each day so and there are three views in this so we provide month view week view and day view so you can see uh, the timings for all the meals in the month this is a week view where you can change this actual uh, delivery time so if you want you can get your breakfast at say 8 30 a.m you can change it for the whole week so let's go ahead and click on update now the system will redirect you to my address book page where you can enter different locations different addresses for your different meals so I will go ahead and add my address here As you can see, you don't have to add for each of for each of the meal type. It's automatically getting populated for the other meal types. So you just have to enter it once. Now you can click on update. So this brings me to my billing info, where you can enter your card details. this is the final step in our new user flow here the new user will be registered to my macro chef as a paid user so now you can go ahead and track your order in real time by going to the live tracking screen So it says there is no active delivery to track at this time but if you open this page before your requested delivery time it will show your delivery guy reaching to your location. So for demo purposes we have simulated the delivery guy module so we can track it right now. So this screen is actually a delivery guy module but for demo purposes we will open it inside our own browser. So let's start the simulation on this page so we can track the live order on the users page. So as you can see the delivery guy is on its way and we can see the same on the users page. So the delivery guy has reached now. So you'll know when your delivery guy has reached your location when you see the confetti on your screen. And it says the delivery guy has reached your location. So our application is Alexa powered, which means that to change your delivery time or a dish or a delivery address to some other thing, 
you can change it with alexa as well so if i want to change my tomorrow's lunch from curry chicken to let's say turkey burger i can do this by alexa for demo purposes i'll show it through the alexa developer console so i have some sample utterances saved and i'll just copy it right here Are you sure you want to change December 25, 2019 lunch to turkey burger? Yes. Your Wednesday lunch has been changed to turkey burger. Thank you. Okay, let's go ahead and check if the change has been reflected there on our website. So our Wednesday's lunch has been changed to turkey burger. You can do the same for delivery addresses and time as well. Okay, so that's a wrap. Thank you.